everybody, welcome back to another Vectorworks video and today we're going to be looking at the new announcements for Vectorworks Nomad that just came out in Surface Pack 4. So it started with a really nice little LinkedIn post by uh, Bitblap, the former CEO of Vectorworks, and I really wanted just to highlight that the new update features some really cool features that we'll be looking at in some videos here. So the first one that we're going to look at in this video is how it amplifies mobile collaboration. We're also going to then take a look at the AI enhancements in another video altogether. So make sure you subscribe for that one as well. Okay, so Vectorist Nomad has been overhauled quite significantly. You'll see that it's been redesigned for a much more intuitive experience, and it really kind of aligns with the desktop program as well. We've got some really cool tools. I'm not going to be showing all of these today, like Reality Capture and things like LiDAR as well. So I'll be looking at these in other future videos. But I thought there's some really nice features that we could look at together to explore how you can use Vectorworks Nomad and maybe touch on Vectorworks Cloud Services if you haven't already engaged with those features. OK, so let's have a look at the Vectorworks Nomad on the App Store. Here you can see some nice screenshots and a little bit more information about the app itself. Now, of course, this works really well on iOS devices like iPhone and iPad, and also on other uh, kind of brands of mobile phone as well. So really, really good sort of feature. So what I'm going to do is actually share footage of my iPad working with Nomad. So you can see if you go onto the vector, it's Nomad, there are actually a couple of like ready-made samples that you can look at just like I'm showing you together. So I'm going to click to view the VGX file and view that one in 3D. I can see it's loading the file and here is the 3D model of the sample file they give us. So really easy to operate just by scrolling around with your fingers. I'll show you the controls in a minute. You can essentially rotate and view your model. And if you do click on the uh, layers button, you can also turn on and off various layers just by clicking the icon a couple of times and see how that affects the model, as you can see. So this is really nice. You know, we've got 3D control over a model. It doesn't need a copy of Vectorworks to host it. You can share this with your client and they can just download Vectorworks Nomad for their iPad or their phone and potentially view the project that you're sharing with them in 3D. They can also do things like turn off layers and classes very effectively and basically get a really nice impression of your 3D model but without having to have a copy of Vectorworks and all the technicalities that go along with that. So I think you'll agree this is a great way to maybe share and sort of provide your projects to your clients, as well as the sort of traditional kind of PDFs and other things like animations as well. So the really good thing is when you click back onto the home view, if you do get lost, you can essentially, you know, get yourself back to where you started. So that little home button in the bottom of the screen there, you can see just click that to get back home. Now the third icon along, as you can see, is essentially a copy of the clip cube in Vectorworks, which is pretty amazing. So here we can kind of clip cube and drag that section in real time to really explore the model in maybe a top down view or even sort of sectional view as well. Now the third one along or fourth one rather is the walkthrough tool. So this one will enable you to basically move around the model. And as you can see, I'm just learning how to operate this as well. So this takes a little bit of practice, but with a bit of practice here, you can kind of navigate through and you can right click and teleport. So I can basically teleport around my model and basically move to different positions by right clicking. So there we go, we right clicked and teleported into the stairs. Um, let's have a go at right clicking just down onto the front of that entrance there. You can see right in front of the stair, it teleports. So teleporting works really well, particularly when you've got like maybe larger spaces, maybe not so much on this particular project. OK, so finally, I really do like the uh, little settings button where you can change things like the shadow direction, the ambient brightness, some of the colours of the background. And also, quite importantly, you can turn things like shadow quality to higher and also show things like ambient occlusion and also edges. Now, remember, if you put the edges on uh, in the model, you'll see it looks a lot more graphical, a bit more like a kind of like, you know, graphical type model rather than a bit less realistic. This is very, very cool. You know, bearing in mind, this is all running on my phone or my iPad, and this is available to anybody uh, with any device just by sharing the model. Here we can see the help system with all the different controls. 
And, you know, while I was mastering that, that was superbly useful. Just to be able to see all the different types of control and how to operate the software. But I promise you, if you give this a go, it really doesn't take long to learn it at all. So I think you'll find it's quite intuitive um, and things like the teleport mode, you know, quite a fun way to explore your project and just sort of see what those spaces might look like. Again, it's not designed to be sort of photorealistic or ray trace quality like twin motion or anything like that, but it's an extremely powerful way to communicate with your clients. So just before we carry on looking at the amazing new features in Vector it's 2025, I just wanted to reach out to you and offer my teaching and training services that I offer all over the world via Zoom. I'm an experienced architect with over 20 years experience, but I've been a Vectorworks user my entire career and I really love teaching people from small practices to individuals, whatever level you currently are. I can help you on 2D, 3D, BIM or various visualization workflows. I also really love teaching Vectorworks in combination with things like Twin Motion, Enscape and D5 Render for 3D visualization. So wherever you are in the world, if you'd like to reach out and improve your Vectorworks skills, please book a call or drop me an email and I'll be very, very pleased to help. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Okay, so now I'd like to have a look at how I can use one of my own projects for an eco home that I designed a few years ago. A really, really nice little project that I'm very happy with. And just gonna show you how this works in Vectorworks. So it's a very simple project with three different layers. Here's the ground floor with the kind of living space. Then we've got the bedrooms on the upper floor and we've got these nice sort of terraces as well. Okay, so I'm going to export this directly from Vectorworks as a VGX file. You'll notice it immediately comes up with the correct location on the Vectorworks cloud services. And then it basically starts generating the model. And at the moment it's just showing us pending. Now what this means is we can then open that P uh, VGX file once it's basically updated. And if I scroll down, you should see there is the new project. So let's go ahead once again and view this project in AR and VR. So here we can see I've got my own project, which is really exciting. You know, if I wanted to share this with one of my clients, this is the kind of expectation of how that would look. And basically I can do this nice section cutting. Um, very, very easy to communicate and also explain how to use this kind of like simple Vectorworks Nomad app because there really aren't too many options. You know, unlike Vectorworks, which is a complex bit of software, there's so many different things you can do with Vectorworks. And of course, that's one of the reasons I provide professional training all over the world for you. But basically, with the Vectorworks Nomad, the simplicity is the key. And this means that you can share your designs nicely with your clients so that they can view and get a good experience of the project and the design you're proposing. Now do explain, uh, you can just click that home button when you get you to go back to. Here we can see the layer control once again. So if I could scroll in and turn those layers either gray or invisible, once again, it's very, very nice and we can kind of like explore the model. Don't forget you can also do the same thing with your classes. So if you'd like to show the layout without the furniture, for example, I can just turn off the furniture class and that basically makes it very, very straightforward. So really, really like that. And once again, let's play with the walkthrough tool and also the um, sort of teleporting side. So let's see if we can teleport down to the entrance, more kind of sort of upper level, if you like. So getting a bit of a view of the level there. And then we can transport ourselves down into that space on the ground floor. Now this is really good, as I say, particularly with larger spaces like maybe this living space, in that I can navigate around now and get a pretty good impression or show the client, you know, what this space would be like. Don't forget the controls are available if you just click on the help there. So very, very easy to uh, learn and very easy for your clients and customers to kind of understand how to operate. I do like the nice simplistic settings for things like shadow control, as I talked before. And also, you know, you can get things like model statistics in there. So you want to see how many polygons you've got in your model, you can do that. What I'm finding is even on an older iPad that I've got, it's a number of years old now, this iPad, it was really, really responsive and basically very um, kind of zappy to move around with really no lag at all. You know, the only thing you might notice is the shadows improve once you actually kind of pan around. So I think you'll agree this is a very, very nice tool that architects and Vectorworks users can use to basically share their files anytime they like. Now this time I want to show you how you can also do something called AR, augmented reality. 
So there's my screens, <laughs> my lovely setup there, by the way. Uh, do check out my LinkedIn post where I kind of shared my setup if you haven't seen that. By clicking AR mode, you'll notice that I can actually place the model physically almost on a desk. Now, it would have been better if I had a tidier desk here, but I just thought I'd do it on my work area here. And you can see that I can basically place that model as if it's in the real world and actually navigate around it by moving the iPad around. So this is quite different to navigating using the walkthrough mode. You're actually kind of moving your iPad around to kind of get the view of the model. And I think your clients will find that that works quite well, particularly when they're kind of engaged in a sort of space themselves. So here we are in the space, if you like. Let me just go down and sort of see if I can turn on the other layers. Good. Now, I just want to make one final point. Um, the Vectorworks Cloud Services is also something you should take advantage of. And I was thinking I might do a completely separate video on this one day. But the main benefits of the cloud are this rendering that it can do offline to save you all the time. Also, things like sharing and collaboration, things like PDFing, and also collaborative design and presentations. So there's a lot we can do. Now here you can see exactly the same project, but this time I exported the site file as a VGX file. And here, rather than viewing on my iPad, I'm just viewing on the computer using the uh, VGX file within Vectorworks Cloud Services. Again, Vectorworks Cloud Services is free pretty much for most people. So if you do want to kind of be able to share that file as a VGX file, that should be feasible. And you can see that I'm able to navigate around using my kind of computer on the desktop now. And again, just be careful sort of uh, how you kind of learn to navigate. It's quite easy to crash. So clicking on the home button is quite nice. That basically takes me back to where I was before. And if I'm clever, I can just basically use this to teleport down to the eye level and, you know, start to explore my design in all its glory. You can see that I've actually got a couple of Enscape people and a dog there as well, just so you understand what those people were. Okay, so here with the context, it's quite nice because you're getting the views on the outside of the project, as well as a sort of bit of a representation of the idea of furniture and the spatial qualities here as well. So we can kind of play around a little bit with the lighting on the desktop version, as well as the Nomad version, as you can see. And we can make those shadows look a way more realistic so that now, when I rotate the light around, you see the kind of light and the shadow of those lovely trees coming around as well. So everyone, I do hope you've enjoyed this short video on Vectorwitz Nomad. I would love to see you join and subscribe to the channel. I've still got so many people who watch my videos but aren't yet subscribed. And for those of you who want to join up and become a channel member, we've now got a really lovely members section. I look forward to seeing you on the next videos. Take care. Bye-bye.